everybody got out of here unscathed this morning and we're heading uh, to the next destination. I don't really know where Peter's taking us, but if we have a day like we did yesterday, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So this whole area of five corners was once an actual gold, there was some gold mining that went on. That's out. correct. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And there's... And you've, there's you, you've gone by one, you're above what was called the Rooks or Foxes Mine, which is down below here. On oh, Buffalo Brook. Correct. You go from a steep section of the yep. brook to a, a flatter section where the grade changes. Yes. And what you'll start to do is you'll find like this piece of quartz that's down here, that larger boulder. Yep. You'll find those hung up in those areas. That's typically where you're going to want to look for uh, gold. Um, anywhere, probably in a good year, might be three quarters of an ounce, an ounce, to maybe a half an ounce. So That's you're looking not bad. at ah, uh, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. You know, it's, it's relaxing. It's, it's uh, plus you get out here. This is, right. This is awesome. Well, listen, thank you very much. No man. problem. That's great. Good luck. You too. That's awesome. Don't get stuck yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Thanks. You're a cool shot. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> I've been called worse, I guess. I'll take that. All right, we'll give that a try. I think Jason's better than this. You think he's better than this? <laughs> yeah, he's got this. This is a pretty gnarly rock climb, huh? Okay, I gotta back up. end over so okay I got you, you want to pull the back end into the rock you're gonna throw some max tracks on there well what I'm trying to do is just take pictures he's trying to get the taco four on is probably gonna have just about the same struggle as the taco so. all right done <laughs> okay so we've got we've got some max tracks down now we're gonna give it a run uh, we got a we got a ways to go yet so All right, we are winching. Beat the living shit out of my front skid plate, and um, it's time for a winch. All right. Back out a little. Yeah. You got it? Yep. Give me the front If you have a damper, I think it's a good idea. When you're winching as an anchor vehicle, you want to keep it in neutral and hold your foot to the floor on the brake. So that way if the vehicle does come back, you're not jamming it against the parking car.
How many times did you want to jump out of the car? Twice. Once I stayed in. Once I did jump out. So I chose my faith in him. Obviously, I didn't have faith in him at one point. But throughout the day, the difficult trails um, and rocks and craziness, I worked up my confidence in him. And I think I helped him gain confidence in himself. Just a little bit driver. A little bit driver. Yep. Yep. Come on. Come on with it. Straighten it just a hair. Come right at me. Straight. Yep. You're good. Go ahead. It's going to want to slip it in there. Come on. You're good. Come on. There you go. Right, right there. Just drive it easy. Keep it rolling easy. Keep it rolling. Nice, dude. You're going to be fine. Good driving, man. Yeah, good driving. Uh, so I think this solidifies that you're a better driver than Jason. <laughs> what do you think? Nah, I don't think I wouldn't go that far. I'm getting better, but I wouldn't go that far. He's a uh, he's a uh, he knows what he's doing. It's just an unfortunate rock climb. And Peter claims that he's got three feet of uh, wheelbase on me, so that could probably do it. We were river rats. We climbed a what? Well, what appeared to be a creek bed, which was actually a road. Um, as, as these creeks have taken over these abandoned roads, because they're not maintained, state maintained anymore, um, <clears throat> it becomes a white, white water run, and uh, we put the trucks to work. That is officially the first time I've ever, what would you say, reverse kayak up a waterfall in a Jeep? I think that's probably, probably, it's definitely the first time I've done that. That was pretty entertaining. A lot of swimming. Jeep swum a lot. Sorry, not a Jeep. Rin had the Jeep. But yeah, no, a lot of swimming. A lot of upstream swimming. Kind of like a trout. Felt like a trout. Like a brown trout, mostly. <laughs> I just want to go as high up the hill as I can.
Virgin Morning over at Plymouth with most more for the move of the most scenic and challenging combination trails that we have in the entire state. Well, pretty much the, an equal trail to that is the one we're going to do this afternoon. And that's the infamous Chateauguay Road, Chateauguay. These roads are, they're, they're water courses and at the same time as their roads. Maybe a brook beside the road, but eventually the two became one. The type of river landing that we have here is that it does require a built, prepared vehicle and it does require a skilled driver. So all that time and energy you put into to get your training and all that time and energy you put into your vehicle, it pays off you come to Vermont. <laughs> 10-4, um, I think our team's gotten a pretty good, gotten pretty dialed in working together and kind of knowing our limitations and understanding how we all work, so um, looking forward to it. Following Peter and seeing the way the Range Rover articulates and thinking I can do the same thing, um, but I had to take some different lines than him. So the hardest part would probably be the challenge sections that he was showing us. I mean, it's like nothing I've ever done before. Definitely puts your truck to the test. And I was just, the hardest part was really being scared for the bottom of the truck. So are we going to leave any parts in the lane behind? Should, Should I? No. Okay. It's definitely been driven too. Just got to really be aware. You know, and take your time, and if you're having trouble, just obviously get a, get a spot, and then if that's even more trouble, just make sure you just take the, take the winch, and there's loads of trees to winch from, so there's never a place where it's not okay to winch, so. Got it. You ready for this? Apparently this is when the craziest, uh, craziness happens, so. All right. Let's get some craziness going on. Can't do it without my random. <laughs> We happen to be at the very point, or one of the points, where we can see where the river was. The brook was right here, and what happened was, in time, a tree fell, a rock moved, and the river was diverted into the road. You can see the road is right here, the river was right there, but it's just what happens with time. But we are literally driving up the road part of it. It just happens to be that the river has given way and crosses over the road at various points, but it certainly does make for an epic road. It's awesome.
<laughs> Everybody's had struggles. Ben's struggling right now because there's like mosquitoes swarming his head. There's literally mosquitoes on the lens. There's like mosquitoes on the lens. Yeah, we might need to clean. There's like mud on there. Anyway, um, I'm gonna execute this climb so we can get moving. Ren's behind us. Uh, trucks are getting beaten pretty good, but everybody's okay. So everybody's safe and everybody's having fun. Please don't hit me. I don't know, it stood up and it was hung on your front axle. What what was it? The giant rock, rock stuck under my my underbody. <laughs> and I dragged it maybe about oh, twenty okay. feet. Yeah, let's see. Is it this one right here? Yeah. Big Something weird. dragging, but the vehicle kept going. Well then I don't know why you stopped. <laughs> No. Chicken. I mean, I've dragged bodies before, but <laughs> no. they didn't give that much resistance. <laughs> they just kind of flop around in that manner. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I mean, just four or five. When I don't want to stink up the truck. Zero to southern real quick. That was weird that one. Really tippy up ahead. Tippy <laughs> tippy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, really tippy. Good job. I would say really tippy. Beautiful, nice job. Everybody's had some struggles, but we're ready to go. We're prepared. Tires gripped the rocks really well. We got them aired down where they needed to, but you know the traction on the on the Coopers were very impressive, especially here in the evening when we were trying to climb up on the mountain, which was a wet, sticky, tarry, muddy mess. There's a really good chance, like long wheelbase vehicles right here, you could come right through it because by the time you're like stuck, you're at the front end through it. So it could come right through.
cut up some fish. We got some cod from a local market. And we're gonna cut it up, marinate it, get some fish tacos on the scuttle. I eat better usually on a MSO trip than I do at home. Not fish tacos. <laughs> Red meat. Dead cow. Red That's what we're doing. Cow. Dead cow. A simple rule. I really do. You don't eat fish? No, I don't eat fish. I'm gonna kill you. You're afraid of fish? No, not afraid at all. <laughs> you just don't eat fish? I'm not eating it, yeah. yeah. I'm fine with killing them. I can support that. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Oh, good. Well, we're making, we're making fish tacos for everybody, but since Rachel doesn't eat fish, we're having to accommodate her by making chicken tacos, or chicken taco. Maybe two tacos? I don't know. Depends. But we're making some... El Fish taco tacos. pollo, huh? El taco pollo. El taco pollo. And beans. And beans. And also, right over there, we've got some Brussels sprouts. We're gonna fry some Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Ooh, Brussels. But there's a jalapeno. Oh, they're jalapeno and lime black beans. I mean, this is an amazing place. Everywhere we've driven through, people are stopping doing what they're doing and they're reaching up and waving. Um, just a truly delightful place to be. Um, from the people to the places. Um, yeah, really something else.